Hey guys, um, I'm not sure what to say, but um, I just, I don't know, I really felt the need to make a video, like really, really felt the need to make a video. Um, bit hard tonight, been um, tr tr trying to sleep for a while, but it's not been working. It's 3.26am, been trying since about 1am, but thoughts kept going round to my head and um, I was crying and crap. Um, and then I had an idea about clothes or something and I, I, I don't know, I, once I have an idea in my head I can't sleep until I do that. And um, like suddenly, although I've not really gotten dressed all day, I'm suddenly getting up at 3am and putting on different clothes randomly, like lots of different clothes. But um, yeah, and according to my scales and according to VB's, um, my BMI is 15.73. I mean, my scales say that I'm slightly lower than that now, but that was a few days ago. But you know, my scales aren't numbered, they're like a little dial thing, it doesn't, it's not like digital, so it's not very clear. It's, it's kind of difficult um, to like read it uh, uh, exactly. Um, but um, like, I've been um, thinking, um, I only have to lose 3 more kilograms to get to a BMI of 14.5 again. Um, that's not my lowest obviously, but um, I felt comfortable there, like with myself, I felt comfortable. That's where I was, um, uh, um, that, that's where I was, somewhere in Lee House, in Pine Cottage before I went to Lee House, because um, I was in Pine Cottage for a week and then I moved to Lee House. Um, during that week I didn't eat anything but then in Lee House I did eat um, but like in Pine Cottage I lost quite a bit of weight so by the time I went to um, Lee House I was actually 32 kilograms but if I lost till I was 34.5 um, or something like that kilograms I will be 14.5 BMI again um, 34 okay. um, so I only really have to get and lose like less than half a stone for me to be back to at least a weight where I was comfortable and then I only have to lose like two more kilograms to be back where I was and it's so easy because I'm, I'm dropping almost a kilogram a week I mean it's not good it's not healthy but I just suddenly I'm getting this high and I'm thinking it's so easy it's so easy just just a few more kilograms and I'll be back to where I was in August. That's amazing. I mean, it's easy to lose that before going to hospital. Like, I keep thinking about hospital as well. But like, say she did put me back in hospital, that won't be within the next month, will it? They have to plan these things, they have to sort these things out. They can't just suddenly rush me there. Um, they have to have warning, they have to um, book rooms, they have to sort things out. That would take at least a month. And if I went to hospital, I wouldn't, well, first I'd refuse to go to hospital. I wouldn't stay if I was forced to stay. I don't know, I really want to avoid going into hospital. Because it means that, because I keep dropping, they'll probably keep me there until I reach BMI of 20 or 18 or something. Um, which isn't fat, but it's not where I want to be. Um, so, like... I really don't want to go to hospital. But I really want to lose weight. And it's so easy. It's so easy. I mean, it's a struggle, but it's easy. Like, I'm not having to resist anything. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll show you my body how it is right now because I'm wearing quite tight-ish clothes um yeah I swear I just spent 15 minutes talking not five <laughs> mm. um yeah
What am I doing? I fit into my trousers again. Yay! I'm so glad I fit into my trousers again. They've been driving me empty. I'm trying to see. I don't think I do have body dysmorphia at all. I don't see an obese person, I just see flabby bits, especially my face. But I don't like see a fat person looking at me, just a fat face looking at me. <laughs> like I can I can see my collarbones. I'm not blind to these things. I, I can I swear I can see what's there. I know I can. I'm not imagining things. I think I was wrongly diagnosed, misdiagnosed. There's no shame in being a body dysmorphic, but I don't think I am one. So I can see it. Especially this bone here has started to show up in my ribs. It's starting to show up again. Especially when I lean back. I lean back. But that's when I suck in. I can see it. I can definitely, definitely see it. Just how can I say that I'm too thin because I can see those bits when I can also see those bits? So I just oh, I would move all of the fat my stomach, in my in, in my face to my stomach if I could because I, I don't care about the fat in my stomach, I care about it on my face because everyone can see my face, there is no one can see my stomach, though you just saw my stomach which is something that I normally wouldn't ever 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 do online so um yeah I'll probably end up deleting this video tomorrow when I'm thinking straight. Um, Three thirty-four AM. My room is a tip and somebody I really want to tidy it. Yeah. I see Vivi on Tuesday, which is, well, technically tomorrow. No. Yes, technically tomorrow, because it's the 5th, Monday. Yeah, Monday. Um, so, so, tomorrow, Tuesday, Vivi. Yep, 6th. Vivi support worker. There's co-ops. Wait, wait, wait. I'm good. Um, looking forward to um, seeing my weight again which is good because I kind of want to know exactly what it is because my scales are rubbish because I'm just a dime. I said that a minute ago. I, I, I haven't gone mental and forgotten. I do realise I said that a minute ago. <laughs> Sorry. Picture swanky. I feel so disorganised. I feel, I feel dirty and horrible. Don't like the fact that the plant is wonky like uh, I'm just suddenly very aware of the mess around me and how flipping dirty I am just, uh, Things aren't going well.
Do you remember Cry I Shall Knock? That channel I made when when I made announcement on Unique RKW and that person Siobhan from my school found it and I had to make a whole new other backup channel but then she lost the normal channel anyway luckily um, and I put the video up there so now it's on Cry I Shall Knock and quite a few videos are on Cry I Shall Knock um, and it was called Announcement and it was like when I was living with my dad I said oh I should be moving to my mum's but I can't do that because of school um, to like close myself out of this life and like instead I just tried to be silent well I was silent and then I was moved into a foster home wasn't I and from the foster home I did move to my mum so I stuck with that part of the plan and I stuck with the cutting him out part and leaving him to it part and basically I followed all of the plan except for the whole restricting thing but I suppose I have starved my body just not through restriction and fading away I have from friends I have from school I no longer go to a school so I'm no longer visit visible to lots of people every day I'm nothing <laughs> I've already made it so that I almost don't exist. Except the problem is I still have my mum left and I still have one friend left. And you guys obviously, but you know what I mean, like... In the real world, I've almost completely faded away. Not necessarily body weight wise faded away but life-wise faded away and I said that moving to my mum's when I was talking about um, child abuse um, my experiences I said I think moving to my mum's is a so it's like signing my death something rather than death warrant I, I've forgotten what, what, what it's called but look it's working since when do one of my plans work? There's just two more people I need to remove and then I'll be invisible. I need to remove. How selfish is that? I wish I could sleep. I'd like to be able to sleep. Still keep coming up with bruises. I found a couple more on my legs now. I have no reason to get them. I don't exactly do anything. <laughs> mental how is it I can feel this miserable whilst also feeling this racy in my thoughts whilst also feeling dead why is everything going wrong everything's going right just not in the way it was supposed to Hello. Who was in the door? Why am I stripped you? There we go. 
Boo was in the kitchen earlier and like um it's just so dark, I am sorry. Boo was in the kitchen earlier and like I thought, I'll let him in, you know, he went into the kitchen, must have laid down for a while, I went back upstairs, did whatever I do and what I went back down in the dark at this point. Turned on the light. No, before I turned on the light, I heard him. He must have like not used his voice for long enough. So like normally, he kind of when I walk down, he kind of goes meow, meow. Like sounds like skylight, but a little bit more high pitched. Like but a bit more high pitched. Um, but um, I went down and he went. Meow. <laughs> he just sounded so low pitched. He was like meow. Like really, wow! <laughs> like so low pitch and so scratchy. Like he had a frog in his throat. It was just so funny. And I went, "What the hell has happened to you?" And I turned on the light, and he looked up at me, and he went, "Ow!" <laughs> it was so funny. Hello. Did you put up with me and my funny moments? Probably you the only can. I think 17 minutes is more than long enough.